Hello, fun army. How are you today? <laughs> it's a musical day. <laughs> so, new week, new project. Uh, and I have no idea how this project's going to go either. You may have noticed that's my general theme for my projects. I just kind of go in with some pluck and a bit of inspiration and hope that everything comes together, um, which it doesn't always. Uh, <laughs> sometimes these things are quite painful, but this week's project uh, is actually because things are a bit painful. So um, like a lot of people, when I get a bit stressed, the tension can build up in my in my neck and shoulders. And what happens to me quite a lot, which is exceedingly irritating, is that I get a trap nerve and no matter how many painkillers or whatever you like, you know, even going and having a sort of a deep tissue massage doesn't release it. It just sometimes takes like five days or so before that releases. And if you're not getting rid of that stress and stuff in the meantime, then sometimes it just pops back a couple of days later. You're like, ha ha ha. <laughs> so one of the things I do to bear the joy of that pain uh, during the week is use a wheat bag. So <laughs> this is my wheat bag. It's got cats on it. Um, but as you'll see, this is not really best placed for um, sticking around my neck. <sighs> uh, yeah, I did use, <laughs> I did used to have one that went around my neck. But uh, I had it when I lived in this place where there was an infestation of mice who ate my wheat bag and then pooed it back up all around my room. It was a special time. <laughs> so since then I actually haven't had a neck wheat bag. Uh, and I thought, do you know what? I've been putting off trying to remember how to use my sewing machine. So we're gonna do it. This should be fairly straightforward. I can roughly sew in a straight line. Uh, yeah, I just have to remember how that works on this particular sewing machine, which I don't think I've used in about seven or eight years. And prior to that, it's not, this is the thing, like, it's not like I was a prolific sewer at any point in my life. So, you know, I remember how to move the foot up and down, but beyond that, me. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting little journey for this week. Um, but in theory, for a wee bag, it just needs... I'm sorry, there's a massive seagull coming. I have a little balcony here and so they've got these big uh, glass doors and there was a seagull coming right towards me, but I think it was actually just landing on the balcony above. Anyway, it's one of those moments where you're like, DRAGON! Anyway, um, so yes, in theory, a wheat bag to go around your neck is just a rectangle, so you just sew up three sides, fill it, then sew up the hole. Um, however, I did have a little look-see online because I was trying to figure out how much fill it... Oh my god, it's the seagull is terrorising all of my windows and I just feel like I'm being attacked by dragons from all sides. Anyway, uh, <laughs> did a bit of online research, uh, discovered that actually the best, um, what's the word I'm looking for, like the best design for a net wheat bag is actually if you have channels within, so I don't, know if I, I don't know if I can demonstrate this. So as you can see with like this wheat bag, as you, as you move, this bit then has no wheat in it because it's all kind of dropped to the edges. So if you have a long one that then you put around your neck, all the wheat drops to the end so it's actually not then warming your neck which is the entire point of the exercise and because I'm trying to get at the trapped nerves I often have to have it at kind of a diagonal sort of going over one shoulder um, so the idea is that you then sew in some channels and then fill up those channels so then the wheat can't move anywhere because it's just in its own channel <laughs> I say this like I have any idea what I'm doing but I have fabric. So I had this fabric in my flat. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I think when my mum bought me the sewing machine she just gave me some fabric she had lying around but I equally don't know why she had it lying around because it's got it's got like little are they Scotty dogs? 
forgive me like I'm a cat person as is she so I'm not really sure why there was dog fabric in the first place doesn't mean I have anything against dogs by the way but I just prefer cats because they're like me <laughs> and a lot lower maintenance <laughs> um, but yeah so we have this fabric which will be good for um, a heat bag I, I should call it heat bag because to go inside I have rice rather than wheat so um but yeah so it's quite uh, i think it's kind of like curtainy fabric so it's quite thick which means it hopefully won't get holes too easily and also won't you know set a light in the microwave be safe kids <laughs> oh my goodness so yes it's gonna be an interesting mission i know the theory I just need to figure out how the sewing machine works and then execute said theory and try not to get rice all over the floor. <laughs> so hang tight. Let's see how this goes. Um, first next step is get sewing machine out, figure out how it works. Come on, let's go. Okay, here we go. So, <laughs> it's here. I've got, I've got my instructions because I'm not really uh, sure how this all works. So, oh, look, I know, oh, here we go. I know that one pulls this up, so that's a good start. Uh, and that one's, oh, no? There we go. <laughs> that one's gonna pull the old needle up and down. Okay, so possibly, although that looks a little bit like it's caught the thread in the wrong place. Is this going to cause trouble? Or have I just caught a second loop? Is that what's happened? Oh my god. If only I had any clue what I was doing, eh? Okay, no, I, I think we're okay here. <laughs> We'll give it a crack. Uh, so next thing, here's our fabric again. Oh, oh, is it all one bit? <laughs> oh, do you know what I didn't bring over? Scissors. I do have some actual fabric cutting scissors, but <laughs> these are probably suitable. <laughs> probably. Okay, so we need it to be a long rectangle, so we want the dogs going downwards, step one. Um, and the easiest thing to do is if we, mm, brief, is if we take, oh, I'm going to have to stand up right, actually <laughs> my arms aren't getting in the way of the camera too much. Uh, decide how long we want it. And then basically fold it in half. So that way, I'm going to fold it right way out to cut it, but then we'll fold it the other way to sew it. But yeah, if we fold it in half, that means we've already got to sew <laughs> three of the edges, which takes takes the edge off, if you will. Um, yeah, let's do it this way. I'm sure I should be measuring this properly, but I'm me and I'm not very good at that sort of thing. Uh, right, hang on. You hold that. Great. So, oh, actually, how long do we want it? I should have bought like a scarf or something, shouldn't I? Just to uh, have a little look. <laughs> Hi, I'm your neck. Ooh. This long. <laughs> it needs to be this long. Technical measurements, peeps. Ooh, oh my god. I'm just falling over. Everything is going completely wrong. Right. So today's mission is just try and cut it. We're going up to roughly where it says buy up there. Let's put that on there to hold that down. 
And then let's cut. Mm. Although actually, I can, I can, I can measure in dog. <laughs> oh. Measurement, Rosie style, measure in dog. So you've got roughly half, the, oh, in theory, roughly half the front end of a dog. I also just realised I probably should have got the ironing board out if we're going to do this properly. God, it's a lot of steps to this, so I'd forgotten. Okay. I'm sure if my mum could see me now, she'd be horrified that I'm just cutting when I'm not even on the table using any kind of measurement, just winging it. Where did I say I was going to? I was like, where did I say I was going to? Oh, up there. That seems a long way away. How long is my neck? Is that too long? Okay, I tell you what. We'll cut it out and then we'll decide. The satisfying noise that's making me. Between the dogs, because I don't, <laughs> I don't like awkward, uh, awkward endings. I'm not sure this bit's going to be straight. Oh, that oh, wasn't too bad actually. You see? Who knew? <laughs> okay, so uh, please hold, because I'm going to go and uh, iron this now. I think. Okay, so don't laugh, but this is the first time I've ever used my ironing board and my iron. Um, a red light came on here, so I'm presuming <laughs> it's on. It's now gone off. Like, is there a... Oh, look, there is a... Um... <laughs> so, why do I have these things and not use them? Um, a lot of the stuff that I buy just hangs. It doesn't really need um, ironing. Uh, and actually I, I got this for free uh, and my mum bought me the ironing board uh, so yeah it's it smells quite hot and I don't know if that's because all right I've bobbed it down towards what I think is the minimum end so let's go to there's a blob that says synthetic um I have no idea what I was just saying. yeah I think my mum was trying to train me to be a grown-up human and I, as you have noticed, refused to be a grown-up human. So, um, but I did used to have to iron stuff for my dad. <laughs> Once upon a time, he used to make me iron his handkerchiefs and his shirts. I'm fairly sure I didn't burn anything, whether I did a good job or not. Quite another matter. Oh, look, I'm ironing. La, 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 la. Oh, good, it's already caught up. Uh, okay. I think it needs to go hotter because it's not ironing out this crease. Oh, it is sort of. So, as far as I'm aware with this stuff, and I'm sorry, I don't know quite why I'm in shadow. In shadow. Shall I poke my face, see if it actually decides to put some light on me? No? No. It's because I've got the backdrop of light. Um, yeah, it's not a prerequisite to iron stuff before you sew it, but uh, growing up in my household, you were taught that whilst it wasn't a prerequisite, everything just looks a shit lot better if you do. Uh, it also means you've got like straighter lines when you sew because you have less rumpling up. Like this crease isn't going away, it's pissing me off. Go away. La, la, la. And I'm ironing on the um, right side down because in a minute I want to fold it in half and then iron in that side that we're not going to sew just to make my life easier there as well. Hmm. Just because it's been creased like that for a long time that's really irritating me. Maybe let's do the fold and then see what happens. So folding this way and um, in one eagle eyed me also notice I've still got the selvage edge on there. 
That's slightly on purpose right now. Actually, I don't know. I have this vision of like just making stuff out of random scraps. Um, but I'm quite keen to keep the selvage on there. As a test for my first thing I've made in a long time. Uh, and I can use that as a guide to sew in a straight line, basically. And I can see then where I haven't cut it <laughs> entirely straight line as I'm doing this. <coughs> It's mine. <coughs> I'm coughing, but I don't have the COVID, I promise. Uh, I'm just coughing at my own ridiculousness. La 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 la. I'm hoping this is straight because I wind it that way now. Still not entirely getting out of that annoying crease, not gonna lie. Maybe I have to have it hotter, like, <laughs> can somebody give me a lesson on how hot to have your iron? See, now it's gone red. What does that mean? Are you heating up? Are you reheating? Like, it feels like it's been warm, but I don't really want to, like, burn the shit out of my hands or the fabric at this point. I'm new to all this. Yeah, someone wants to teach me about the temperature of irons and, and uh, <laughs> what I should be doing here. I'm open to that. Okay. Smooth. Let's turn that bad boy off and leave that there to cool. I know that much. Wheat bag, wheat bag, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. So, now the even harder bit, let's try and sew some shiz. <laughs> Don't let me forget, I have to leave. Oh no, hang on. Let's think about this. So because I need to do those channels I was talking about, I actually need to sew the two short edges, keep the long edge open, then turn it round, then sew the channels. It's gonna be fine, I'm sure. Totally know what I'm doing, clearly, clearly. Okay, let's go, peeps, let's go. All right, don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna take my slippers off so there's no <laughs> foot slippage. Okay. Um, I suppose in theory I could have pinned this but um, I think actually if I do do any pinning it will need to be when we do that big long edge. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it for the short edge, might be dangerous but Woo! <laughs> nervous. Let's, no, you can do this Rosie, line shit up, away you go. Okay, needle starts out of fabric. Hold on to those, put it down in the fabric. Oh, here goes peeps, cross your fingers. And don't run too fast because that's your problem. Oh, let's put the foot down, there we go. See, I remembered something, just in time. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. should have done that thing where we went forwards and backwards at the top and I forgot. <laughs> Step one she forgot and I left this out of the thing as well. Okay and how do I do the reverse? Is it this button? Hey! Okay let's consider this a test project eh? Wowzers okay. And we, where's the doodah that is? Pick that up, pull that off. Hey! Oh! Yeah! Yay! Okay. So far, so good. It actually sewed shit. Uh, and I just need to remember then when I do the top that I need to do um, a bit more of a secure stitch up there. Okay! Whew. We survived one side. We're in this together, peeps. Oh, yeah, look, I can do the um, hoo jimmy flu jimmy doodah on this side. So. Let's go out, there's a bit. Oops. Now I actually can't really remember if I'm doing this in the right order, i.e. Does a needle go in and then the foot goes down? Hmm. I'll have to look that up. 
Okay, so forward a bit, back a bit, forward a bit. And back a bit. Yeah, my mum would definitely say I'm going too fast and I don't entirely disagree with her at this point. <laughs> But I've sewed two edges. It's a miracle. Okay, so it's a bit weird. For oh, so I need. Hang on. Do I, I need to um need to cut the corners? Cut the corners. Yes. But if we're going to turn it round, it's a bit easier to have slightly less of a corner. I'm led to believe. So let's just let's sort of hash it up. <laughs> After I just managed to sew shit, I hash it up. Let's try that. Hopefully what I just pulled out was a fraying bit and not actually stitches I've just made. No, we're okay. So, let's pull it out the other way. Check me out. I sewed something and it's still attached. <laughs> okay. Oops. La, 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 la. I'm sure this would be slightly easier to poke through if I didn't have the one long side that was open. <gasps> Yay! Check my shit out. Oh, pretty, feeling pretty smug about that, guys. So I'm actually going to go and iron it again so that we can flatten those. Uh, and then we'll see if we can do the channels without completely scaring the crap out of myself. Because that's, that's the hard bit with this. That's the hard bit. No, it's okay. We've got this. We just sewed two whole lines. Everything's still attached. We can do this. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. I've ironed it. Now, have I still got my ruler here? Hello. So, um, obviously it's quite long. So the question is how big do I make the channels? Like two ruler widths? We sort of want almost like a ruler and a half. So I think it's fair to say I'm slightly going to be eyeballing it. Let's just see if this. Like no. la, 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 la. This is rosy logic, people. It's getting fatter every time, that's not what I intended. But that's about right. Boom, rosy logic wins again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see how it works when I actually have to do the sewing. We can do this, kids. Right, where's my ruler? That's about a ruler and a half. So. Okay. Everything is fine, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> can actually uh, keep more of a steady speed, shall we? I think the answer would be no. <laughs> steady speed, Rosie, no. Okay, oh, is something cool? What's happening? Cope. The foot is up, the needle's up. Oh, something was caught and I don't know what it was. Have I broken a thread? Uh, yes. Okay. And I pulled a stitch out. Uh, 
it's only semi wonky, so that's not bad at all. 3,000 more of these to go. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll speed up this footage, shall I? Ladies and gentlefolk, we are done! Ah. I mean, obviously, the test now comes when I try, <laughs> try and put the rice in and hope that the whole thing doesn't collapse. But and I, I don't actually know how well you can see the channels, especially with all the threads that I now have to uh, go and trim off. But we, we made it! Uh, yeah, next mission will be let's fill it with rice, see what happens. Hopefully I won't cry. Stay tuned! So I wasn't sure I had enough rice in that tiny box I displayed previously. So I ordered some more as part of my Ocado delivery. Um, here it is! <laughs> I think I've got enough now! I'm not very good at checking sizes and quantities of things. Um, this is why uh, I don't enjoy cooking and I'm not very good at cooking because I will inevitably um, miss the fact that it says it serves eight people and I'm one person <laughs> or I will just completely miss steps altogether. Like <laughs> and um, I apparently could just make my own set of weights out of this bag of rice. So <laughs> Perhaps I'll be making some more heat packs after this. Here, one for you, one for you, one for you. <laughs> anyway, now I've gotten over that hilarious arrival, um, let's get to putting it in the bags. Bags? <laughs> putting it in the bag slash channels. You know what I meant. Let's get to it. Let's get to it.
we go. It's heavy. <laughs> but not as heavy as the massive bag of rice. Okay, no. Na, 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 na. Uh, I'm not gonna like try it on my neck yet because the main thing is we've got to sew it down um, before all the rice falls out on myself. On myself? On my neck. Uh, just need another pin. So, next step is to fold the end in to where we want it, iron it down. Uh, and then sew it down and then we're there really. Who knew eh? Who knew? So here I am again in the semi-darkness. Uh, this is really gonna... actually does this blend? Oh it does like... it looks on the viewfinder like this slightly blends in with the uh, ironing board. Um, but yeah this is really gonna test my ironing skills now. We just need to basically press the edges down just to help it kind of hold its shape. I think it's going to be easier on this end than on this end. I see. <laughs> Seems we've gone a little bit crazier with the rice at this end. I think probably once I got the hang of it. But uh, yeah, let's see. We can only we can only but try. Yeah, this end is a little bit of a bitch. Not gonna lie. I know I could just be toasting the rice <laughs> but the upside is none of it has spilled out on the ironing board yet which was also my fear Doo -doo -doo. I'm also so oh, oh, oh. I don't know the iron says red I don't know what that means because yeah it just comes off and goes on I might have had some instructions somewhere at one point. <laughs> Not right now. I'm just assuming it means that it's come up to temperature. But why it would be off and then come on and then go off again when you're using it, I don't know. Oh, definitely easier at this end. Okay. Go at it from the other side. Yep, no rice. Woohoo! Okay. I think what's really funny about this is that it's just got like one frilly edge. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to stay that frilly once I've um, sewed it down or even if it's just going to be a complete bitch to sew down because it's gotten all frilly from uh, where the pins are because ideally I'm going to be sewing closer to the edge than the pins are and then when you take the pins out the rice kind of moves out a little bit so right Ooh. sit yeah. oh so let's Ooh, give it a theory give it a theory test the theory oh my god Bodes well, bodes well, kids. Okay, so I have moved the needle to the left. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, it might, you know, it might. We just need to make sure we're catching the edge. <gasps> oh, God. Yes, okay. Put down. I'm gonna have to go really slow because it's gonna be so hard to control. with pin. 
Am I right on the edge? Fuck. Hang on. Reverse, reverse. No, I've lost it. Where do you go? Oh, do you know what? It was actually fine up until that point. Bugger. Okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, but actually, uh, I think the easiest thing is just to snip it off there. Whoops! Go back and then go again. Hopefully, without running out of thread. <laughs> it's about to look quite fast. Sure, I have another one, but I just need to go and forage for it. Uh, okay, so put the needle down. Ooh, okay, that. Where's the line going, please? Oh my god, I can just smell rice, it's really making me want a curry. Maybe I should have put some lavender in here. <laughs> it's just gonna be like. Hmm, I'm soothing my neck and I want a curry. Okay. Right, slow, Rosie, slow. Oh, it's so hard not to go off the edge, man. Okay. No. Shit. This is a ball bag, is it? Go slow. Oh, this one's a bit looks. Maybe I should be hoiking the pins as I go. Ah, yes, because that's holding the foot up. Hoik the pins as you go. Technical term. There we go. La la la. Definitely not the um, neat stitching I was going for. Bearing in mind I actually haven't been too cat candid with everything else, which is unusual for me. Um, but we've made it. I haven't run out of thread yet. It's like, <laughs> how far over am I? About a, th hmm. About a third, maybe. You could do it. You know you want to hang on until the end. Oh, no Leave fled, please. I can only cope with so much imperfection before I have a meltdown. Oh, no, rice! Rice alert! Oh, shit! Okay, everything's fine. No, it's fine. No. <laughs> Everything is entirely fine. Entirely fine. Right, we've got this. It's gonna be okay. I've now slightly given up on neatness and I'm just going for um, anything that holds the rice in and I'm definitely more confident of this kind of machine sewing holding the rice in versus my hand sewing so Let's go with it. This 
this is really going to upset my OCD because I was being so close to the edge to begin with and now I've just got fuck it, foot switch. <laughs> but I feel like it's necessary because the rice is coming towards me. Oh, especially here. Get back in, please. Thank you, please. I don't want to sew on rice. Okay, I'm definitely sewing on rice. Fuck! Mm. Anyone? Any suggestions? my machine because I sewed on rice. <laughs> what happened Miss Harry's? Well I was sewing on rice so get underfoot please oh my god it's so fucking heavy that's gonna be good though it's gonna be <laughs> hope it's not too heavy for my neck now <laughs> What a grand idea, guys. Grand idea. Do you know what, though? If all else fails, even though this is taking a lot of time and non-patience by me, uh, the joy of sewing is you can unpick stuff and start again if you want to. So if it really is too heavy for my neck and if it upsets my OCD too much, I can literally just unpick and start again. Okay, I can't even get to the bit I want. Come on, bitch! <sighs> okay. Let's try it. Up and down we go. You took my hand off, done about the rice. There we go. Oh, we're so gonna run out of thread. Bugger. Please hold. Okay, I faced my fear and changed, <laughs> changed the thread. Managed to re-thread the needle, it's a miracle. Um, sorry I didn't film it, I couldn't bear to, it was too painful. Um, okay, let's go. As did some rice. It's fine! Everything's fine! Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. <laughs> actually just trying to feed the fabric through the thing it keeps like going over the same bit which I'm hoping is just making my stitching a lot stronger <laughs> right that wave you can do it we're so close now so close come on machine don't let me down now. It's not even rice there, it's just the pressure. <laughs> yes, home stretch, home stretch! We can do this! Oh, is that rice? No, it's not rice, it's just the end of the fabric. Okay. Come on now, here we go. So, <laughs> several things happened. Um, number one, my battery died. 
<laughs> so you've got all this tension leading up to that final moment of like, yes, we've done it. I did a whole mega celebration and it turned out my battery had died. So you missed it. Uh, <laughs> however, what I then did was pick up my heat pack and turn it upside down and some rice fell out. <laughs> Not a lot, mind you. Like, it wasn't like a cascading shower of rice. It was a few bits of rice fell out at distinct points. And uh, my response was, of course, oh shit. <laughs> the sewing machine let me down. Uh, and actually the thing was, it wasn't the sewing machine that let me down. I had overfilled um, in a number of areas. So when I'd tried to then do the sewing, which is why you saw me struggling quite a bit, it just wasn't really a flat enough surface to get a good stitch going, because um, everything had kind of bunched up from the tension of having that much rice in there. So here's what I did. I unpicked it all and I hand stitched it shut. <laughs> and en route, I got rid of some rice. Not all of it, uh, I actually still have a couple of areas which are still quite full um, because the method I went through was sort of the joy of having the sections was that I, I unpicked a section, then took some rice out, then re-sewed it, but uh, I actually forgot to take some rice out in the first couple of sections I did. And my original theory was actually, okay, let me hand sew it all shut and then I'll sewing machine over the top um, just to give it that bit of extra security, but... I actually spent quite a lot of time trying to do the best possible job I could do on the hand sewing instead of my standard hand sewing, which is like, meh, that'll do. So, I present to you the final thing! Which, look, 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 check this out, right? This is the, um, with the hand sewing on the top. Turn it over. No rice falls out! I've shaken it and everything, look. So. And the next demo, let me get this right, there we go. Look, how good is that? It also feels a little bit like a crown. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm the queen of rice, how can I serve you? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I obviously haven't tested heating it yet, that's the, that's the next job. 30 seconds at a time when you're trying a new wheat bag. But this could be great, so it's nice and flexible. But the big thing is, all the weight hasn't come down here, it's like spread all around my neck. It actually contours quite well, so when this is warm and my neck is completely immobile, as it sometimes gets, uh, I was like, maybe it's even more immobile because I've made myself a crazy robot rice crowd. No, no, it's gonna be good. Gonna loosen shit up, man. So I'm feeling very proud of that. Yes, I did unpick some of my sewing, but that was a user error. Um, I feel actually quite a lot more confident with the sewing machine now, especially as I had to re-thread it towards the end there, which I wasn't looking forward to. Um, I, I think my next uh, procrastination point with sewing will be having to change the bobbin. Um, but, you know, I know where the bobbin plate is, so it's usually just a case of popping in and popping in. It's, it's, it's the threading bits. Like, they don't make it straightforward. You have to, like, Put it through here and put it through here and put it through here and then catch it up with the thing and the oh, oh. like it's just stressful man it's just stressful but the main thing is we completed this it's a win i've semi remembered how to use my sewing machine and i've completed a whole project with added um i wanted to say ridges no channels channels yes unexpected complication um unexpected uber unpick and restitch i'm feeling good i think we should i think we should all feel proud today <laughs> if you've been procrastinating about remembering how to use your sewing machine don't follow my example but do get it out and give something a go like it's worth it this is the start of building up some skill um and then ultimately getting to like this was a fun project but I'm ultimately aiming for the uber fun of making costumes, you know. I really enjoy dressing up. I really enjoy little fun projects and I just feel like that's the way forward. Um, I'm also really keen to try uh, upcycling. So, you know, going and just buying things from a charity shop and turning it into something else. Um, 
but yeah, at the moment, <laughs> this is my base level of skill right now, so probably have to work up to that a bit. And the main thing is to just keep using the machine, getting a feel for it, getting a feel for how things come together, um, i.e. if it's not flat it's going to be painful. <laughs> So yeah, I've enjoyed this week's project. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I will catch up with you all soon. Bye.